Sting and yeah. Darby Allen delivered a promo from an undisclosed location. Okay, and the undisclosed location was this looks like a broom closet, empty building, with warehouse, not a warehouse. 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 Okay, Sting acted like he was defended by Taz referring to them as hoodlums. Then conceded that Darby Allen is a hoodlum. <laughs> Allen then threw a skateboard through a window behind him and said that he is the hoodlum, no different than his partner. Then Sting slammed his Bro, that, when I saw it, let me, let me I have finish. To say this. I have to say Please this. stop interrupting. Okay, let me finish. Too this is the first time I say something, mother... Sting slammed his baseball bat through the windows behind him and said he's a hoodlum. He said it's showtime at Revolution, the street fight. Okay, go ahead. F*** it. <laughs> I didn't like the way Darby looked. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I just had one more sentence Content- to read. You, you wanted to because I, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like when, when Michael Jackson was in the video bad and was trying to act like a badass. You right. Know, like, like, okay. Darby, and they Michael, were breaking none, windows. Right. Uh, <laughs> Bro, yeah, right. This is oh. one of those segments that I talk about. That when it was done, I kind of chuckled out loud <laughs> because it, did, it came across to me as funny and not like really intimidating. It's like it's just weird, you know. It's like the Sting yeah. is a very strict. Here's let me t- tell you this too: is this was shot all right? But you know what they should do? Like you know how like in NXT, the way Jeremy produces the videos, they'll put like a very light music track on it, like the sound, like sound of it. This right. this should have been had like a like an yeah, ominous like start sound normal, ambiance, is... right, right? You know, and okay. so, but but instead they just. Yeah, I don't know. This so, but, but let me let me ask Sting, Harry. What Sting did you is think? a weird character right now. What did you think of this segment? I didn't like it at all. I mean, even go to the part where Sting, uh, well, first Darby threw his skateboard through the right. window, didn't and then Darby said, <laughs> "Nah, dude, <laughs> not at all." And then right. Darby said, "Well, Sting is one too." So Sting grabbed his bat and he broke a window, and then he went for another one and he couldn't break it, so he had to take another <laughs> whack at it. I'm like, what's going on right now? I mean, I know it's going to be a cinematic match; it's going to be on the pay per view, but we like week one. You and I agreed like give me that. something better, right? Is that yeah? What you're week saying? one, right, we too. were like, okay, Sting came out, just those face offs with the other guys. That was cool. Then the next week, same thing. And then the next week, same thing. And it's like starting to get boring. And now we got last week Sting and Darby in a promo. And then this week we got Sting and Darby in a promo. I'm like, you got to switch it's it up. It's weak. Here's the thing. They, they think that because he got over months and months of WCW not doing anything, they think maybe, like, maybe we could just do the same thing with him here. But, like, bro, it's like you had the NWO – like at Hogan and all these other guys on the show too, you were just like the, the extra. You know, oh, by the way, Sting's got his eye on this, you know. So that that was open. But this is like his character is way more powerful than all these other. You know, like saying his character is right. stronger than. And he saddled and he saddled with a kid that yeah. if there's no audience there, it really hurts him because he's not yeah. a good promo. He's not overly charismatic. Doesn't there's come nothing across about as tough it. when he talks tough. Right, doesn't come up yeah. as tough. Doesn't look tough and hang. <laughs> Having a skateboard in your hand at all times doesn't make you tough. Yeah, what I, do you think of this segment, Hijo de Nyla Rose? It was all right, man. Like I, I'm telling you. Do you him, like my crayon, by the way? He who talks over people. That's yeah. tremendous. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, the, everybody except JoJo, Conan, and I has a great uh, tag on their names yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was. I mean, Darby's just there, like, like you know, crouched down for a little bit, and when he stands up, Sting still towers over him. Oh, right? sure. So, like, of course just, he does. Sting's big. Uh, man, yeah. It's just, uh, he just seems like his little dog Spike. I can't, yeah, he's, just, he's, right. he's the add-on, you know, I can't help yeah. it. I, I, just, Sting. I just don't like, I just haven't liked anything they've done with Darby, really. And I think, even though Sting is who he is, that instead of Sting elevating Darby, Darby's kind of bringing down Sting's appearances here. And it's, it's you know. It's, Darby uh, has yeah. nothing to do with that. He's the, the company. Well, the, they haven't, yeah, the whole they thing. Haven't, they haven't done Sting right. Yeah. What do you think, Adam D? Oh, you know, for Sting, for this being Sting's like first promo in six years, you know, actually, he, 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 yeah, well, he was, he was a little rusty, and and then when Darby threw the skateboard, did you see the skateboard get hung up in the window, and then it fell? <laughs> he, he didn't even throw it through all the way, and then, and then when Sting busting the glass and stuff, I was like, what is is this like? The are they trying to go with the crow thing here, or the escape from New York, or also what's the, problem, the setting here? Yeah, also the problem: the windows were too small, so when he threw the skateboard, it just broke a little pane. If yeah. it was like one big, bro, it just came pane, off amateurish. Yeah. We don't want that on national TV. Yeah. Maybe they should have set another car on fire. All right, so let's get to the next thing. Wait, did you guys see Adam's figure that he brought up for you guys? Yeah, yeah the Sting one figure. Yeah. yeah, no, no kazoo for that. Nice jacket. <laughs> yeah, I like Sting. I'm Probably sleeps with it. 
You're right. a hood Jer- one. Jericho and MGF against the Varsity Blondes, Pillman and Gift Garrison, and basically I don't like that the name. Bar- yeah, the, the, they've done nothing with the Varsity Blondes. So this is just an, an elongated They're a dark tag team. match. Yeah. So the Jericho and MGF just defeat these guys and just whatever. Uh, hey, how about then, that lion salt though? Yeah, he didn't break his. Did he hit it this week? <laughs> well, 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 well here's the thing. Let me tell. Let me tell you exactly what happened last week on that move. If you watch it, right? He didn't get the slipped, right. Right. When Chris, when Chris does the move, he literally jumps and lands with both feet on the like he he, he jumps both feet land on the rope. So, so so you're jumping into a springboard, right? Yeah. Right. So when he went to go jump last week, right? There was somebody like where his right foot would have been. Yeah. There was a guy at ringside that was climbed that looked like he might have like not seen the spot coming and might have been looking to come into the ring. He he didn't get so it the threw steps. Jericho off yeah. to where he didn't double jump and land with both feet at the same time. Yeah. He stepped with one foot, yes. tried to bring the other foot up like a second step and yeah. then go back. He didn't get the he didn't get the propulsion. Yeah. That's exactly what happened because. His timing got through off because he thought. This is what I'm thinking when I watched it because he thought the guy was going to and he was going to like maybe like hit his f- fingers or whatever, you know. So that that was. If you watch that back, you can watch and tell me if you agree with me. So yeah, that I, I, I just hated all, everybody crapping on him. I'm like, dude, everybody screws up every once in a while. Yeah, and yeah, bro. I just, think it, it's almost like so many people went savage on him and the NBA fans that he said, "Fuck it, I'm going to lose weight," and for the other. I think I can't lie and salt. Here's one for your <laughs> boom, boom. But he like, smiled at the camera. Yeah. He was like, oh, yeah. that. But let me ask you a question. What did this match accomplish? I mean, what, what was it even for? It, well, it ended because cause it set up a thread to, oh, where, micro, he, yeah. well, to where MJF and, MJF and, and uh, Sammy. Sammy, Sammy are still at odds. Bro, that's right? been going on forever. I know. And, they, and they, they did the same thing backstage. They, they could have done well, all that this, backstage. That was, right, yeah. Well, they, so so they, I was... I was uh, like kind of intrigued because right before the match started, MJ asked, MJF asked for the microphone and he was like, yeah, and once this match is over, I need to have a word with Sammy. And I was like, oh, crap, I don't care about the match, but I want to see what happens afterwards. And what yeah, happened yeah. afterwards was yeah, yeah. they they just put the middle fingers in the middle and then they started screaming. I'm like, no, you guys should have said something. And then they did it a little bit later. I'm like, you got to had a great chance right there instead of having us wait. So, so two things for me. The first one is MJF. You can tell he's a star because he does he's does certain things that 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 make me entertain. The details. Right? So when he was trying to escape from the ring that one time, that guy grabbed him by the legs and he he makes a face like he got caught. And he's like, uh, surprised, and he pulls him back in. Not a lot of people do those facials, right? And then the second thing I think for Jericho is a lot of people don't like him at the moment because of his political leanings, or whatever. So they're just they're looking for him to mess up. They're looking that's stupid, for bro. anything. I know that has that's nothing I, to do with nothing. I feel. Yeah. That's Which, why by I the way, it does have, but bro, I'm telling you though, it does have something to do with something because there's enough of trolls that That's are going to start think. talking about stuff like that. This is yeah, the, you absolutely. Know. They're well, just yeah, waiting. Or shouldn't bro, and then Maybe I need to just shouldn't have anything. Yeah, and he yeah. started. Yeah. This, all, agree this all, everybody st- agrees with that, but this is the reality. You know, this all yeah. started also when he had Donald Trump Jr. on the show. But, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yep. But by the way, I was listening to the censorship uh, segments that you guys uploaded on Patreon. Great job with that, and I had never thought about it that way. That when people were donating money for Trump, it was maybe they were just donating to the party, not to Trump. It was the guy right, representing right. them. I was just thinking, I was like, damn, Jericho's supporting Trump. It's like, no, maybe he just doesn't Bro, like the Democrat Party this, and he's this, uh, donating to the Republicans. That's all you got to tell people, okay, that if you make over $400,000 a year, Biden's going to tax you more. Mm-hmm. If you're making Jericho makes $3 million, probably $4 million a year, who's, he's not going to vote for Demo- Democrat. When the guys come in and say, I'm gonna get, you're going to have to give me more of your money? Come on. That's, that's coming. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll give 30000 to try and risk not getting another 300 taken away. You, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, I, I don't see how yeah. all the AEW Internet Mark fans are against him when they all sing his stupid-ass song when he comes out. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a and, well, those are and the, when Those are the boys in the dressing room. Yeah, no, They have fans hey. there that are singing that stupid-ass yeah, song. Yeah, but they're yeah, showing so, the, mostly the ones ringside. So and this right. week mega, it was mega heat was So Judas. there were no fans. And that's why so this week they only showed the, the wrestlers ringside. They, there were no fans in the stands. Yeah, to me, bro, I, I, was gonna, I, I just bro, think... Cause, it, cause, I was going to... I didn't know that, okay? But I was going to ask that because the soundtrack... It's like the fans are constantly making noise the entire time. They have that the, the, the fan sound, you know, and it just doesn't. And here's the it's, other it's thing: very weird. I don't, it's not, I don't you know, know if I'm being nitpicky on this one. It's like it's just. I mean, if it's your MJF and Chris Jericho, two of their biggest stars for sure, 
and it takes you that long to beat two guys that spend more time ringside cheering, you yep. know. And I just, like I said, I just felt this match didn't accomplish anything. Yeah, They've yeah. done that so, with Kenny Omega, put, putting him in there too long against... I know Danny Limelight is a guy that you like, Conan. It doesn't I, matter. I, Kenny Omega like, should be beating him in less than two minutes. And let's in go. two minutes. Get him in and out of there. So, when same Danny thing Limelight's week. a star, somebody else will do a job for him. That's how it works. Exactly. Yeah. Cody Rhodes against Avalon. Bro, Come this, on. This is that why should have lasted a this, minute. This, or Wolf or whatever is, his this, name was. This is why Cross made the right decision going to NXT because they know, like, okay, this guy, he should he should be killing people quick. Right. If he he would have lost by now. He would have lost. He'd be having, oh, he would have lost. Yeah. He would be having eight to 14-minute matches. Yeah, he would have lost to Darby just, Allen or Orange Cassidy probably. Yeah, yeah and his longest um, matches have been, what, the championship match and the match against Damon Priest? But they were good yeah, matches. Take, 